very important for us. It's the first district win in our school's history. Uh, we've been in Union now four years. Got slaughtered by St. Albert's first year. Lost a tough one in the box second year. And then uh, lost a hard fought game to AHST. Uh, coming out here tonight, it was good for us to get a win. You know, in, in this game as well, you know, and you guys had a lot of offense, uh, put up over 70 points. Just talk about, I guess, the, the plethora of scoring that you have. Right. Well, we, first of all, we're only averaging around, you know, 40 points a game. So, and about 90% of that's Stevie Horn. Uh, and so to have 70 points on the board and him not even lead the team in scoring, uh, pretty big for us. We played well as a team, came out, played sharp, um, and it showed. And we didn't quit doing that. We just kept doing it. Um, we've done that before, we started out in the first two or three minutes, but to finish and just keep going, that was good for us. It was. And so, yeah. Good. And not talking about the offense too, or the defensive side, you guys just right out of the gate, steals everywhere, picking passes and just forcing turnovers. How important is that as well as you go forward? Uh, it is really, really important because we don't play well against the zone, and that's what they ran against us. Uh, but with getting the steals, that gets us out and running. Uh, made a couple switches, had Brandon up top. A few games back, we did that, put Gabe Claire down on the side on the 1-3-1. One, one. Uh, Brandon's got quick hands up top, Gabe's got quick feet. And of course, anytime you got Stevie Horn playing in the middle, that gets you out there, gets you steals, and gets you running. Uh, but not to be overlooked, we rebounded extremely well out of that defense tonight. Uh, we've been talking about that all year. Weak side rebounding has been atrocious, uh, but it wasn't tonight. It was very well. All right, Coach, well, congratulations on the win. All right, thank you very much. We're here with Gabe Clare and Stephen Horan. Uh, Gabe, I'll start with you. And uh, you both were in double figures tonight in scoring and were really all over the place. Gabe, just kind of talk about your game here tonight. Well, um, it was just like a team game tonight. I mean, everyone contributed. Played offense, defense really great. And just uh, came up and made big plays and just played outstanding tonight. And now, Stephen, uh, going over to you, coming into the game, I mean, it's uh, no looking aside that you lead the state of Iowa in scoring uh, over 30 points per game. And uh, I guess just kind of talk about coming in, you were dishing it all over the place with assists as well, and really just kind of everywhere. Um, I don't know. We were just passing and cutting. Guys were getting open, and I guess I just take what the game gives me. So if that means passing more, then I'll do it. I guess show people that I can actually pass too. So if I need to score, then I'll score just whatever the team needs at the moment. All right, and uh, Gabe, you know, as you guys go forward, as a senior, you guys get a win here tonight. What what do you look for now as you advance on into the next round? Well, you know, it's like we're seniors, so I mean, every game now is like we play like it's our last because you now we don't have much longer to play, and so we just go out full, uh, like, you know, ready and just play as hard as we can. All right, and Stephen, for you, uh, what do you take here going into the, the next round of district? Uh, I just say same thing that we did tonight. Come in, take what the defense gives us, play hard, box out, just play our game. All right, Coach, I guess first uh, you got to win tonight. It's your first win of the season. and. Honestly, what a better time than it could have been to come in the uh, district bracket here. Right, it's the, it's the win that really matters most to us. Uh, it's been a long time coming. We've worked really hard today, or this whole year we've worked really hard, and it just feels really good to get that weight off our shoulders. Now hopefully we can play a little bit better, better basketball. And you know, and if you really think about it too, it had to be even tougher. You're on the road and you're playing the actual home team of the host of the side. Yeah, yeah, and, and Essex is a quality team. They've experienced those wins. Uh, I was a little worried at the end there that they'd be able to close it out because they have that experience. Uh, but our guys actually came together as a team, played really well offensively and defensively. Our, our pressure caused some problems, and I'm glad we, we pulled through with them. Now, it looked like uh, you talk about the pressure there, uh, the full court pressure that you guys applied in the first half and the second half as well, uh, really just caused a lot of disruption. Is that something you guys have really been working on all year? Yeah, we've been working on it all year. We tried to show it at the start of the year, and it just really didn't work against uh, – uh, the guys we faced, they had uh, much stronger teams that were much quicker than us. But we've kind of saved it now for this game, knowing the last couple it really wouldn't work, so we thought we'd come out and surprise them with something new. You had three players in double figures in scoring tonight. Uh, what do you say about the way you got your players are able to you know, move the ball around and really just kind of distribute the offense? 
Right. I, I'm proud of our kids actually attacking the basket. Um, normally, you know, we, we become a, a one, one man show sometimes and, and take a lot of jump shots, but we really focused on attack, 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 and, and it finally clicked and it feels good. So what do you go to here? Where do you go here now? As you, uh, you have Sydney next week now. Yeah, we have Sydney next. I haven't seen any film about them. Uh, I hear they have a kid that's six seven. And our tallest kid's six foot. So uh, we'll see what we can do with them. Hopefully, I can get some film on them real quick and, and come up with a game plan and and work tomorrow. All right, coach. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. And Tyler, you guys got a win tonight, your first win of the year, I guess. You know, first off, talk about to you just how important that was, especially with it being here in the bracket play. Well, I mean, this whole year we've been playing in the Tough Wick Conference, and I know it's been putting a lot of toll on all of our team. And I mean, we came out tonight with a lot of energy, and I'm really proud of everyone tonight. And I'm, it feels great getting this first one here when it matters, but you got to focus on Thursday now. Now, coming into the game, you actually led the team in scoring. Um, but down the stretch, it just seemed like the team really wanted the ball in your hands whenever Essex was looking to foul and put people at the free throw line. And you came through, you were clutch at the free throw line. Just tell them, you know, what was it like having the patience and uh, being able to put those down in the, in the clutch situation? Well, this whole game, it's been rough because there's a kid on me the whole time. But coaches told me, be patient. We're, you're going to take over in the fourth quarter. And I knew, I mean, fourth quarter, I wanted the ball in my hands. I wanted to be the person who helped us win the game. And, on all I did. Now, you had, you had two other teammates as well as you that got uh, double figures in scoring. Just really seemed like you guys were just synced all, all the way around tonight. Yeah, I mean, I'm really proud of everyone. I mean, I'm so glad that I can sit on the side and watch my teammates do all the work. I mean, obviously I want to be, uh, be there to help, but if I can't do it, I'm glad they can. All right, you got a game next week now. You move on to the bracket. You take on Sydney. Just what are some thoughts now that you, your guys are moving on? Uh, I'm really excited for the game, but we're going to have to put in a lot of hard work. I hear they have a tall kid. I mean, we're going to definitely hopefully get some tape and we're going to prepare for him. All right, congratulations on the win, man. Thank you.